Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. It's Rihanna and I am going to do a little eyebrow tutorial for you guys with my new eyebrow MVP. What's it called? MVP. Hey. Jalil has some questions that he wants to ask me about. Hey. Since he doesn't have a clue. Ah, the city girls. So what did you want to ask me about eyebrows, Jaleel? Why are eyebrows so important? Eyebrows are important because they are the framing of the face. No matter what, if you get that wrong, everything else falls short. I'm about to show <laughs> you how to do eyebrows without them looking fake. Do you think this one looks fake? Nah, that look legit. Exactly. Usually when I do my brows, I like to go where it enhances my nose bridge. Enhance your nose bridge, what does that mean? When it goes out here, your nose bridge goes like in a triangle, like uh -huh. that way. Right. You have to meet it in a way where it kind of not just enhances, but complements your nose bridge. Okay. And so that's how I kind of go off of my inner brow. Do you want to see me fill it in? I would love to. Usually I like to start with the brush to get all of the hairs in line, like that. Now what about your arch? That's what I like to start with because the arch actually controls the entire dynamic of the brow. And usually it's not just the arch, but it's also underneath the entire brow just to get like a little idea. So I kind of do like a bit of encasing. So I start with the bottom of that get it to a place where it feels comfortable. And it's not always done, but I get it to a place where I feel like I can see the shape coming to life. Now this color that you're using, right? Mm -hmm. Like, is that right for your skin tone? It's not only skin tone, but it's also dependent on your hair tone. Right. And so I'm going with a dark brown because going black does not match with my skin tone, it matches with my hair, but dark brown works with my skin and my hair. And so I just go up on the top on the outskirts with the darkest color, but I tend to use more than one when I'm doing this. More than one color? More than one color. I like to switch it up when I go into the inner corner of my brow. I do not like to see brows that look fake. Fake brow. Mm -hmm. So there's a natural gradient that happens automatically without you even putting on a brow pencil. Your brows get naturally lighter from the inside to the outside. And it gets darker on the outside. And so I am now gonna switch to a medium brown on the inside. I usually like to draw upward when I get into this area so that there is no harsh line at the bottom. And then if I cannot sit still, which happens a lot of times. Yeah, I know that. I just, I sit my hand at the bottom of my chin like that. And I just start drawing upwards. There's a lot more control. It's really natural to have a little bit of a bend here, like a natural rounding. And then I just fill it in lightly. But at the bottom, I like to get to a point. The brush on the other end of that pencil, like what does that help you accomplish? Like what does that do? Well, let me is tell you about the brush. Shape? This brush is very special. This one helped me develop a shape and a clean up on the outline if I needed that without disturbing what I was doing with my brow MVP. What's it called? My bro MVP. MVP. My bro MVP. 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 <laughs>